Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a big Friday today on FIBA 22 because Future Stars is here. I wanna take a look, of course, at the team that is coming out in packs today, the content that we could maybe expect to see SBC and objective wise, as this is one of the biggest fan favorite promos of the year. Of course, we're coming off of a very, very good team of the year promo, but there's a lot of promising looks and a lot of promising content coming with this future stars promo as well so we're going to talk about it all today talk about the market as well how i think this game could react depending on how ea does this promo today and of course talk about maybe some things you can do to prepare as well for this promo and also make some coins because a lot of people have been doing upgrade packs spamming upgrade packs trying to pack team of the years but that is ending today right all of these sbcs are going away so we'll maybe talk about how even early today on Friday, if you want to try to pack some future stars and save a few of these packs, there might be some reasons to do that as well. So we'll kind of look through that as well. But future stars is always a big promo. And we're going to look at the team here in a second. There's some pretty good cards in here. I don't know if it's like insane amount of hype. But still, since these cards are items that we never usually get to see specials for in this game, it's still going to be a pretty cool promo today. So if you're hyped for future stars, of course, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. But without further ado, let's look at this team, right? This is what everybody's excited about is the team that's coming into packs today. And these are the players we should see in packs also with confirmed stats. Now, one thing that I will point out right off the bat is that the Jude Bellingham they're showing on the loading screen has 85 shooting the leaked stats were 84 so that's one you know one stat difference maybe there's one other stat difference on his card but for what we see here these stats should be pretty accurate to what we see today per the foot sheriff leaks so again bellingham vlahovic smith Rowe, chamani looks really good Konate looks decent. Mateus Cunha looks really good in my opinion. I th even think that Indica looks really good for a pretty cheap option, right? And again, the pull and the hype and the excitement about these cards is that these are youngsters that a lot of them don't have many special cards on this game, especially if EA comes out today and does some skill move or weak foot upgrades. Of course, we hope to see that with Vlahovic, right? Maybe a four-star, four-star upgrade on him. Maybe like a five-star skills on Damsgaard or imagine Smith Rowe with five-star skills. That would be insane, right? So we hope for some of that kind of juice to keep this promo hype today now some of the lower tier cards you know i was looking at this leaked team that we're supposed to get today um and it kind of compared it to last year i feel like last year's future stars team one was was undoubtedly better right i think if you look at through these cards these 11 players here the stat boost that there were on these cards some of the position changes uh the four star four star upgrade on bergwine the stats here look really really insane i don't honestly think that this team lives up to that kind of hype but i feel like it's not super duper far off right bellingham looks absolutely disgusting chalmany looks really usable smith Rowe, cunha uh and dicka even and trincao right? i think trincao looks pretty good there's definitely going to be some usable cards released today now one thing that people might not like about this is some of these dudes might not have in-game player faces if you really care about that um because you know they don't have face scans for everybody in this game and also not 100% of all of these cards are coming out today, right? I believe that Gakpo and Joao Pedro, these two players right here are going to be a part of the mini release that will be released on Sunday. So we'll have everybody else in here except for Gakpo and Joao Pedro, supposedly, right? That is the leak um, for today. One interesting note about Vlahovic uh, at the moment is that Vlahovic just transferred, right? Uh, and his items right now in FIFA are all Fiorentina versions. Like if we actually search him up, all of his versions that are in this game are Fiorentina. Well, he just transferred to Juventus. Um, so there's hopes that he would come out as a Juventus card today. And I think that would add some hype to his card for sure if he was. Now, one thing that, um, you know, EA usually doesn't change stuff like this. But one thing that does seem pretty promising is one of the storyline players that they added to FIFA yesterday, Jordi OC22, uh, which I believe... If we take a look on Footbin, he might be near the top page. This guy right here, um, they changed his nationality. Or they changed his team because they incorrectly uh, didn't have his team right because he transferred during this last winter window and they gave him his new upgraded transfer team. So there is hope today for Vlahovic, Vlahovic, <laughs> whoops, Vlahovic being a Juventus card. I got nothing against this Vlahovic guy, by the way. That was just a misspeak. That's fantastic. Anyways, um, 
I hope that that's a Juve card today. And this little change that they had here, I hope that it uh, is reciprocated as well with Vlaovic today. So that's kind of what we're looking for with the team in packs. Now, again, what it really comes down to today for the prices on these cards is the pack weight. Pack weight matters a ton. I know we've been talking about it a little bit this week. I just think that EA, if they're not going to juice the stats up on some of these cards, I feel like they're going to up the pack weight, right? And I do think that we will see some of these players pack pack plus we'll see lightning rounds i don't know about preview packs but there are going to be a lot of packs open today and as we can look um from a 125k pack team of the year honorable mention players have an 11 percent pack weight now last year the future stars items had a four percent pack weight out of 100k packs so just a slightly less valuable pack so 125 right now gives 11 percent for the honorable mentions Obviously, pack weight is higher this year. I just feel like EA has to make the pack weight higher for this promo. We'll see. But since we're coming off of a very expensive promo with Team of the Year with a lot of cards that are high in price, it would make sense for EA to try to maybe ca cater towards some of those you know, players in FIFA that don't have as many coins. So if you don't have over a million coins, you can still go out and try one of these cards that will come out today. So hopefully they're pretty cheap. That's one thing that we would like to see. Um, and again, speaking of these upgrade packs, as you saw me had some stacked in there, uh, from the team that we have coming out today, right? We have players from all different leagues represented. Premier League, we've got Ligue 1, we've got La Liga, Bundesliga, um, Serie A, of course. So if you're wanting to pack or if you just want to do some 81 plus double upgrades specifically for the Future Stars team today, I know some people are going to be crafting some of these upgrade SBCs that were you know, out for team of the year, but saving them and trying to pack these future star items today. So, I mean, how many prem, prem guys do you have in here? You've got Smith Rowe, you've got Konate, and you have Trincao. There's three. Bundesliga, you've got one, two, um, and then so you have a couple League on, you have a couple Serie A. So it's really, it's really spread out, right? The last, of course, team of the year was just a lot of cards from the Premier League and the League on. But if you want to save some upgrades to potentially pack uh, one of these future stars today, that's something that you should definitely look into doing this morning. That's a good shout, good call in my opinion, because there's great upgrade SBCs that are out right now. So make sure that you go ahead and do that. Now, speaking of SBCs again, what kind of content could we see today? Now, last year on the first Friday of Future Stars, we had a player pick SBC. I'll talk about this in a second, if you guys remember these different versions from last year. Um, last year, day one, we had a player pick SBC of the Bruno Guillerme card, right? I think that since this was one of the earliest leaks for the Future Stars promo this year, I would imagine that the Tomiyasu would be the SBC we have today. Definitely not guaranteed that is not a leak or anything like that, but that is something that we could see today. Um, as well as we might see the Academy Objective. Now, last year, we didn't see the Academy Objective on day one. It came on the weekend. So I don't know if we would get Chaloba today or if they would just drop a Future Stars Moments card. Last year, we had Moments Sandro Tonali, if you remember that. So I do think that we will get an Objective and that we will get an SBC player. I just don't know um, if they're going to start off with the player pick, which I would imagine they would, but I don't know if they're going to start off with the Academy player right off the bat so that's just if you're really looking for this chaloba card he is leaked he is going to be coming just not sure what day he is going to be coming now one last thing to talk about with the future stars team as we saw last year with reina james and diego Dal diego dalo um they had these dual potential cards right and it is leaked by foot sheriff that they are going to be doing the exact same thing this year so the first version of these cards will be coming on sunday and the second version will be coming next sunday so as you can see here last year we had like a cdm reese james and the right back one a right mid reina and a center attack in mid reina and the stats changed based on the position of the card right left back right back Dalo. i think it might have even changed his uh right left footed right in game so that's the kind of stuff that we might see. Now, if it is going to be a part of the mini release, then Gakpo and Joao Pedro would be the ones that would have those position changes. So we'll just have to see how that kind of plays out later in this weekend a little bit. But again, these are the cards we're expected to see today. I'm excited for it. I really am. I'm really just curious to see how expensive they are on the market. Now, speaking of the market, let's talk about what we can expect today. Um, they don't, they have the card design here yet. Okay. I do not see the card design yet. Hopefully that is added early. They've kind of been slow. I mean, team of the year and honorable mentions were added a bit late last week. If I remember, I remember searching for Messi day one last week of team of the year. And, um, you had to search them through like the special quality. You couldn't do 
the team of the year car design. So market wise today though, um, I really think it comes down to the SBC and the pack weight. Again, we talked about pack weight a little bit. I hope EA makes these pretty packable, but um, I also think it comes down to that Tomiyasu. If that's a very cheap SBC, the stats in that card look really good. Um, and if there's any other SBC content, I feel like if there is a W in SBCs and everybody is really excited to try out new players and these guys are cheap when they come out on the market, then you might see some of the market drop. And I think places where you might see the market drop right away would be on these honorable mention cards. Yes, they are going out of packs, but you know, a lot of people would sell these to go try a brand new future stars. Now, also the opposite play is in effect here that if the future stars today are maybe overpriced, not seen as very hype, then some of these honorable mentions might go up as they go out of packs and people say, okay, none of these brand new cards look that insane to me. I'm not going to buy any of them. I'm just going to go out and buy cards that I already know and like that are decently priced on the market from team of the year. Because I would say that for a lot of these honorable mention cards, they look just as good, if not better than the future stars. It's just they're kind of like normal players that we usually see special cards for in this game, right? And not, not any of these guys are like future stars items in their own right. So a lot of these cards have dropped because for the past two days, EA has run lightning rounds, right? Kiesa, I believe on Wednesday was like 270,000 coins. Yeah, 270,000 coins on Wednesday. He is 225 right now. Um, Holland was like 520. He's 470. Goretzka is down. Bruno is down. Um... Foden is down, Kunde and Jonathan David are down a decent amount. So a lot of these cards have dropped and people are like, man, can I invest in these? What I would honestly wait for today is wait for a little bit of panic selling. And if depending on how the cards look as they enter in on the market for these future stars when they get dropped in the game today, if they look really, really expensive in that first 15 to 30 minute window, then I think what you're going to see is people go back out on the market and buy these cards back up and then use them instead of the future stars. So what I would really watch out for today is if it doesn't feel like a hype day on FIFA, then I would say you're gonna see these honorable mention cards go up. We've seen it happen multiple times this year where on a promo Friday, if whatever content that drops is not very hype, you see the most recent team of special cards that people are trying to use, they're hyped about using in their teams, those cards rise pretty significantly very quick after the content. In the, in the first like 30 minutes to an hour or less, these cards start to bounce back, sometimes even faster than that, because people are like, okay, nothing new today interests me. I'm gonna go buy the cards that I want and play Weekend League. So those are kind of the scenarios that we're looking out for today. I think that you might see a little bit of panic selling though, because just again, Future Stars in general for casual players on this game, Future Stars is just a promo where there's cards that are available that people don't ever get to use in FIFA, right? Like how often do you use some of these guys um, in this game, right? How often do you use Damsguard or how often do you use maybe Trincao would be hype for a decent amount of people or Indica looks like a really good cheap center back card, right? I think that the Indica card today is a specific one that I would watch out for on the market would be his teammate Niakate, right? Niakate has the Winter Wild Cards item that is like, wow, it's already dropped off a lot. I did not know this. He, he's down a lot from where he was, but I think this guy's been dropping because Indica looks better than him. Um, Indica has 85 pace, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, which is a plus nine boost on Niakate. And he has both better defending and physicality stats than Niakate does. So that's why you're seeing some of these cards drop. Also, there's a Lacroix leak for team two. That's out there, and if we get a um, if we get a center back or a right back player pick for Tomiyasu today, that would be very interesting as well. So I think a lot of the market really today depends on these future stars cards, but uh, well, that's going to have to be a play that we make in real time. Now, if you're looking to buy some cards for your team today, um, if you think about somebody like Gold Messi, right? Gold Messi's been chilling around 300,000 coins because he's been out of packs for team of the year. What I would honestly do with a card like Messi is you know, he's going to be back in packs for all the lightning rounds today. Um, and he is going to get packed. So if there's any gold Messi, gold Ronaldo, gold Mbappe that you're looking, gold Conte that you're looking to get for your team today, I would try to buy them in the first hour or so, in my opinion, because they're going to get packed from people that are opening packs for future stars. They're going to drop down a bit and then they could rebound a little bit later on to the night. So I would definitely keep an eye out on those cards today. The team of your honorable mentions I would watch out for and just any market panic in general, right? We've had people that have been selling um, cards in this game because people are worried about like Chalmany, right? 
A lot of people have been selling their headliners uh, Fofana because they're worried about Chalmany. Fofana right now is, how much is he? Where's this card at? 850,000 coins. So you might see a little bit more panic selling on him today on this game. And just watch your winter wild cards. Watch your team of the group stage items. I mean, some of these cards are still kind of up in price and inflated from where they were. But again, you could see bounce backs later on tonight in the market. I would expect bounce backs regardless on a lot of your most meta and your most popular cards uh, today on this game. Uh, but it really just depends on if there's going to be some panic selling or a drop during that first hour or two after the promo, which will make the market move a little bit differently. So other parts of the market to watch out for, SBC fodder. SBC fodder, I would expect to drop during the lightning rounds. But one thing that I'd be very careful with this, and we saw it happen a couple weeks ago uh, on the first Friday of Team of the Year, is SBC fodder dropped down for like an hour. But since there was a base or mid uh, icon player pick that was available, that player pick got so cheap that everybody went out into the market and bought fodder to go and do that SBC. So, um, you know, we do have a mid icon that is still going to be out and repeatable for the next few days. This SBC is 319,000 coins. If this, with fodder dropping so much, if you see in like really big SBC price drops in the first hour to two hours of today, and this mid icon upgrade goes from 300,000 coins down to like 200K to complete or something crazy like that. I mean, it's even down right now at 317K. It's the cheapest that has been. But if this SBC is like 250K or less showing on Footbin, then that means your your fodder cards have dropped a lot and there could be a bit of a bounce back after the supply because just like we saw with that player pick when it was out, people saw the fodder went really, really cheap and some of these SBCs are going to be staying past today. Like the Varan SBC is still going to be out. Some of your other team of the year uh, SBC, like I think even the Lautaro Martinez is, is going to stay out for a little while. Um, let's see, what else is going to be out? The Giroud is out for 10 more days. Not many people are doing Danny Olmo, but Kiar is still going to be available. Again, Lautaro, the mid icon. So, you know, uh, or the mid or prime icon upgrade, if people have not done that, that's still available. So there's a decent amount of SBCs still going to be out that I would keep an eye on the fodder market today as well. And one thing also not to sleep on will be icons, right? Definitely keep an eye on some of your icons today because... As we always see on Promo Friday, some people try out brand new cards in their teams, and if they don't have any way to link them very easily, they will go out and maybe buy an icon or two to link those items together. So maybe focus on some of the nationalities that are very popular from some of these icons uh, that are coming in like the team today for Future Stars and, and keep an eye on that. So, um, you know, it's really a curious day today at FIFA. Like, I know, I know we always talk about how the content is king, right? Content really controls how the market is going to move. But I'm so curious today to see the pack weight. And because Future Stars, based on the team that we have looked at, does not look as insane as maybe we've seen in years past, like in FIFA 21 or 22, or sorry, uh, FIFA 20, where Future Stars was just juiced to the absolute max. Uh, I'm really, really curious today to see how this market reacts. I'm curious to see the pack weight, and I'm curious to see that Tomiyasu SBC, because I think Tomiyasu would be an SBC that a lot of people would do. And, you know, I still have some honorable mention cards chilling here on my transfer list. I have some some Hollands. I have, you know, some Donnarumma team of the years. I've got a Rudiger. Uh, so, you know, I'm keeping an eye on that Rudiger today. And if there's a lot of panic selling, then I might sell that Rudiger card that I have because I bought that Rudiger at, um, I believe I bought it at like 590 and he was like 630k, but he's, he's not quite there again with all the lighting rounds that EA has been running. These cards have dropped down a bit with the extra supply. So I know a lot of people are going to have their eyes on the honorable mentions, but we have to just wait until content to see how that plays out and see how the market reacts today. So if you want to watch live on stream, we'll be taking a look as this content drops today on Twitch. Make sure you click that link down below in the description if you want to catch us live there, looking at the SBC's objective and all of that other special content today. I would expect to see um, th themselves giving out a, a couple more Future Stars uh, swaps tokens as well today as a part of the content. So it's a Friday on FIFA, man. New cards and packs, lightning rounds, a lot of price fluctuations. You'll be able to trade with the future stars today for sure because they will have hype as these cards that get that don't get specials often, they will be really good to trade with. So don't kind of, you know, put you know write yourself off in terms of, hey, I'm not going to be able to trade with the first day promo cards. You're absolutely going to be able to trade today 
with some of these items, depending on their rarity, depending on their price. We're going to keep an eye on a lot of that stuff today. So if you're hyped for future stars, let me know down in the comments. But of course, smash a like on this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. You might have seen the team of the year counter is up to three. I snagged Donnarumma as the last team of the year. I do have a couple more packs that we are saving up uh, at the moment. But Donnarumma was our last team of the year that we packed. And so this is our total team of the year that we have packed during this promo. I'm going to open a few more packs there on Friday before they actually go away. But it's a dub, right? Conte, Hakimi, Donnarumma, and then some honorable mentions. One that we turned into an SBC for fodder. So a W team of the year in my books. I still have about seven and a half, maybe eight million coins somewhere in there. And we're going to turn the focus really back to trading hard and getting this coin total up. Icon moments coming soon and a lot more stuff in, in uh, February into March. Before we get into like the latter stages of FIFA, right? There's still a lot of good content that is coming and we need to have coins for it. So a little bit of rambling here at the end. But once again... Thanks for watching the video today. I appreciate you, and I'm excited for future stars. It has been Nate to put a count, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.